Episode 183, An Opportunity Not to be Wasted. This is All Organic News for the week ending 26th of August 2019. John Moore reporting. Decarbonise the air, recarbonise the soil. As I record this episode, the 25th of August, I'm celebrating 14 years of a new life. In the early hours of the 25th of August 2005, I died twice from pneumonia. I got better. There were no tunnels of light, but there was a trip to the River Styx. No ferry, no jetty. Just the jet black waters of the river boundary that keeps us from the underworld. Over the past 14 years, many of the things I saw that night have come to pass. Some things are yet to pass, and some visions still puzzle me. The big question of why am I still here hasn't so much haunted me, has not really arisen. The knowing that I had something to do, and I would know when that time came, has sustained me. The current global situation may or may not be why I'm still here. Or to put it another way, I didn't fight for life that night and take five years to return to full health to have this planet destroyed for human existence by brainless dipsticks more interested in turning oil into cash than providing a world fit for humanity. It's not just the fires in Siberia and the Amazon. It's not just the attempts by Bayer to buy off the poor sods suffering from glyphosate exposure. It's not just the loss of topsoil each year and every growing season. It's not just the littering of the entire biosphere with plastics. It's not just the suffering of people across the globe from war, famine and pestilence. It's not just the suffering of billions of animals in cages in factory farms. And it's not about the, not just about the constant loss of biodiversity. It is all these things and so much more. It is about honouring our place within the fabric of nature. It is about knowing we are not just a part of nature, but an expression of nature made human. So on this anniversary, coincidentally the date of one of my grandmother's actual deaths, I feel the weight of my ancestors. I feel the weight of the biosphere. I feel the weight of 3.6 billion years of evolution screaming at me at all of us, to actually do something. We know it has to be done. I've covered regen ag, pumped hydro, wave energy, solar PV, wind, Costa Rica going fossil fuel for months at a time. It's all there. There are days when all this gets to me, but then I remember what a privilege my extra years are, and damn it, I'm not going to watch it all pissed up against the wall because it's all too hard. Because it's not. As regular listeners will know, I'm running an online conference next month with a co-host, Rich Bowden, on how we can turn suburbia into a giant carbon sink through a few small changes to how we manage to land in the backyards and the front yards too of our homes across the planet. Link, of course, in the show notes. And the thing that I really don't understand is this. Making the few changes needed will improve the quality of life for all life forms on the planet. It is just such an obvious thing to do, and we know how to do it. I understand that in the middle of a heat wave, that doing anything when the outside temperature hits 43 plus degrees Celsius, that's about 110F in the old money, but we need to start now or these heat waves are going to come earlier and last longer. So as the extra years I've been given are coming no matter what, won't you join me and other like-minded people across the globe in making the changes needed? Together we can decarbonise the air and recarbonise the soil. Thanks for listening. I'll be back next week.